Hi, sweeties. How are you doing? Welcome to Naya Sim or Sim Naya, wherever you find this video. And thank you so much for all the love and support. Hope you all are doing great. So today we'll be talking something very important, and it's about this Hispanic young man who really came all out to talk to black people and tell black people some certain things. How everybody is. Uh, you know doing some horrible things to black people and not being accountable for what they do or what they say to black people so he made it known that jewish people do not give platforms to black people why because they don't want to see black people raising against uh sorry they don't want to see black people growing so big or like you know being more better than them but same black people will give everybody platforms i don't know if you understand what i am saying black people will give a pop color to even the jewish my rapper is one of them so many of them and eventually they are gonna come back to you to let you know um, to kind of even mock you insult you and all that and then when you look at it, the Jew, Jewish, we, the Jews, we say never again. White people, we say live free or die. And then black people, it is black life matters. When you look at it, you find out that the difference is very, very clear. Is it not time we stop inviting? We are so quick to bring people into our own community. We are so quick to meet people. So I know black people are very loving people and all that, but we meet people that end up turning against us. Let's get into this video. This whole thing with Taraji P, ever since she publicly cried about not getting paid equally, etc. And recently, there's this entity known as Vlad TV. He is of Russian descent, white man that claims to be Jewish. He is the biggest platform when it comes to hip hop. How did he, a Russian descent white Jew, become the biggest platform and spokesman of black content and or entertainment as well as a voice right people gave him that power there you go exactly who gave him the power to get there it wasn't russians it was black people put him there how and why all of the black hip-hop celebrities athletes all go to his platform now with that said let's be honest about why he feels that he has such a right to give an opinion because black people have caused them to become very comfortable in talking about black people, black issues, etc. Vlad made a statement a couple of years ago against Minister Louis Farrakhan. A lot of black celebrities encouraged him to apologize. His answer was, I'm not going to apologize. Okay, when Nick Cannon gave an opinion about Jews, he was forced to apologize. Did he apologize? Like this. Like that he apologized. Every black person or people that give an opinion about white Jews apologize now. And you do. And if you don't, you know what the repercussions are. You know. Here we have a white Jew who says something negative about a black man who is beloved by the black community, if you will. And when he was told to apologize, I'm not going to apologize. Why was he confident in saying, I'm not going to apologize? Because he knows that there is no repercussions when it comes to disrespecting black people. What would be his repercussions? Not only that, hey, I'm here at the top being the biggest platform for black people. Black people got me here. I could say whatever I want. Black people love me. My point now, white Jewish people have drew the line a long time ago. You do not talk about us, ever. So much so that even saying the word Jew, people will turn your way like you said a bad word. They had made sure that if you are not them, you don't talk about us. There is no way in hell that a black person will ever have a platform that is based on Jewish issues, talking about Jews or anything of that nature. There won't be a single white Jew that will support this. Not only will they not support a black person who creates a platform to talk about Jews and Jewish issues, they will actually make sure to remove you 
from that platform like that. But here we have a white Jew who has the biggest platform and he only got there because black people put him there. So now when he comes around to say negative things about black people and we complain, how can we complain if we gave him that power? They will never give us this kind of power ever in life. When it comes to Jewish topics, our reaction is, oh, I ain't touching that. Oh, I, I'm not going there. Why? Why are you so afraid of? Why are we so afraid to even say the word Jew? Well, it's because Jewish people have done the right thing. In case anybody's watching and think I'm bashing them, absolutely not. They have done everything right. Have you ever heard of a phrase, never again? Mm-hmm. It is the phrase that Jewish people have come up with to where we remember what was done to us. And never again will we allow anybody to do this to us again. Now, what does it mean when you are determined to make sure that you never allow anybody to put you through that again? It means that you're going to get in every position of power, systemically, economically, you name it, scholastically, you're going to get in every position of power that you can possibly get in so that you could have the control to make sure that no population can ever oppress you again. Now, imagine if us as indigenous and black people said never again, meaning we know our history, we know what the white man has done to us. We're going to love our people. We're gonna get into positions of power and make sure that never again do any people put us through that again. We are the people that do not love ourselves and each other enough to say never again. And then we express hatred and jealousy towards Jews because they make sure to not allow nobody to mistreat them. So much so that if you even say the word Jew, hey man, you can't say that. Imagine if we had that much love and protection over ourselves and for our own people to where if somebody said our name, we said, hey, you can't say that. That is the kind of line that we've never drawn. And because of that, everybody knows this. So we are now a people who live in our neighborhoods, but we have no community, meaning the neighborhoods that we have, most of the businesses there are owned by other people other than us. Right. The worst part is other people that don't even like us, that are culturally racist towards us. People who don't even live amongst us. They only come and put their businesses in our neighborhoods because although they don't like us, although they raise their children to not like us, they want our money. And with this money that they make from us by putting their businesses in our neighborhoods, they send their kids to school. So in a way, we are sending a people who don't like us to get an education. And what do they do with this education? They become cops that come work in our neighborhoods and come smack us around. So this is all I got from this video and this young man nailed it. I wish there is part two of this video, but there is no part two. This is just all his, I mean, and when you look at this, when you look at that, now let's see. <clears throat> For he said, the Jews never again, right? And white people uh, live free or die, right? And then black people is black life matters. You can see the difference. You can see the difference. Black people are very quick to give anybody platform. I am not saying that uh, they do not have boundaries. They do. But now let me tell you something. This is just how black people are. Black people are so quick to welcome people, to invite folks into our world, into our territory, into our houses, into our platforms. We are so free to bring them in. We need to credit back. We need to credit check them, really, because we cannot be giving platform to people that use the platform against us, right? Like what he said, you heard him say that black people will give a Jewish person a platform. But a Jewish person will never want to give a platform to a black person. And that is on period. That is true. When people say the Jew, everybody is in kind of scared. Nobody like, you know, want to say something because you feel like when you insult like the Jews and all that, you get repercussions. But they do the same thing. They insult black people, but nobody gets the repercussion. 
And that is how it is. Black people are so quick to forgive when they, you know, they can just be so angry with you, but then you, but I think it's time we stop being so forgiving. I think it's time we stop inviting people into our spaces because it is when we invite them into our spaces that you see them, they trespass. You know, you are just going to give somebody a platform or just a hug or just a handshake. The next thing they want to hug you. Right? I think it's time we start, but now, like I said before, it's just like raising a cub, not knowing what it's going to be when it becomes a lion. You know, the same cub you raise because you think you are doing good to them because you are raising a cub, but that cub, same cub will, will wake up to bite you in the middle of the night and all that. What are you going to do? They're not going to do anything. It's time we start holding folks accountable for what they do. It's, start, it's time we start holding accountability. Like this 2024, I feel like it's just going to be the year of account, like people be, accountability and all that. I mean, it's time we start holding them accountable for what they do and the things they say to us, you know? You know, it's just like, you know, when you slap somebody on this cheek, it looks like to them, black people will always want to turn the other round for you to No, I think it's time we stop doing that, you know, no holding, like no holding anybody accountable for their action towards us and all that. No, it is time we start really holding them for real. It's time we start doing all, it's time we start, it's time we stop. Uh, bringing them into our community so it's time we stop like you know making them kings and queens and all that let's grow ourselves let's let's uh, uh, you know let's raise our own community even if my own community decided to do that i will swallow it because it's coming from my own community but we are going black people are going to raise other people from different distance and then they still come back to cheat on you and let me. I would. I would. I would take that risk with my own people, and uh, and still swallow it if they do something wrong with me. But I can keep swallowing all this when people raise other people, and then they come back to like you know, not even like uh, like they also shit on you in a glaring way. That's all I got to say. See you all in my next video. Bye for now.